Books with clues. Today we are reading The Pain and the Great One by Judy Bloom. The Pain. My brother's a pain. He won't get out of bed in the morning. Mom has to carry him into the kitchen. He opens his eyes when he smells his cornflakes. He should get dressed himself. He's six. He's in the first grade, but he's so pokey. Dad has to help him or he'd never get ready in time and he'd miss the bus. He cries if I leave without him. Then mom gets mad and yells at me, which is another reason why my brother's a pain. He's got to be first to show mom his schoolwork. She says, ooh and ah, over all his pictures, which aren't great at all, but just ordinary first grade stuff. At dinner, he picks at his food. He's not supposed to get dessert if he doesn't eat his meat, but he always gets it anyway. When he gets a bath, my brother the pain powders the whole bathroom and never gets his face clean. Daddy says he's learning to take care of himself. I say, he's a slob. My brother, the pain, is two years younger than me. So how come he gets to stay up as late as I do? Which isn't really late enough for somebody in third grade anyway. I asked mom and daddy about that. They said, you're right. You are older. You should stay up later. So they tucked the pain into bed. I couldn't wait for the fun to begin. I waited and waited and waited, but Daddy and Mom just sat there reading books. Finally, I shouted, I'm going to bed. We thought you wanted to stay up later, they said. I did, but without the pain, there's nothing to do. Remember that tomorrow, Mom said, and she smiled. But the next day, my brother was a pain again. When I got a phone call, he danced all around me singing stupid songs at the top of his lungs. Why does he have to act that way? And why does he always want to be a garbage man when I build a city out of blocks? Who needs him knocking down buildings with his dumb old trucks? And I would really like to know why the cat sleeps on the pain's bed instead of mine, especially since I'm the one who feeds her. That is the meanest thing of all. I don't understand how mom can say the pain is lovable. She's always kissing him and hugging him and doing disgusting things like that. And Daddy says the pain is just what they always wanted. Yuck! I think they love him better than me. The Great One My sister thinks she's so great just because she's older, which makes Daddy and Mom think she's really smart. But I know the truth. My sister's a jerk. She thinks she's great just because she can play the piano, and you can tell the songs are real ones. But I like my songs better, even if nobody's ever heard them before. My sister thinks she's so great just because she can work the can opener, which means she gets to feed the cat, which means the cat likes her better than me, just because she feeds her. My sister thinks she's so great just because Aunt Diana lets her watch the baby and tells her how much the baby likes her. And all the time the baby is sleeping in my dresser drawer, which mom has fixed up like a bed for when the baby comes to visit. And I'm not supposed to touch him even if he's in my drawer and gets changed on my bed. My sister thinks she's so great just because she can remember phone numbers and when she dials, she never gets the wrong person. And when she has friends over, they build whole cities out of blocks I like to be the garbage man. I zoom my trucks all around. So what if I knock down some of their buildings? It's not fair that she always gets to use the blocks. I told Daddy and Mom. They said, You're right. Today you can use the blocks all by yourself. I'm going to build a whole city without you, I told the Great One. Go ahead, she said. Go build a whole state without me. See if I care. So I did. I built a whole country all by myself. Only it's not the funnest thing to play blocks alone. Because when I zoomed my trucks and knocked down buildings, nobody cared but me. Remember that tomorrow, Mom said, when I told her I was through playing blocks. 
but the next day we went swimming. I can't stand my sister when we go swimming. She thinks she's so great just because she can swim and dive and isn't afraid to put her face in the water. I'm scared to put mine in, so she calls me a baby, which is why I have to spit water at her and pull her hair and even pinch her sometimes. And I don't think it's fair for daddy and mom to yell at me because none of it's my fault, but they yell anyway. Then mom hugs my sister and messes with her hair and does other disgusting things like that. And daddy says, the great one is just what they always wanted. Yuck! I think they love her better than me. Thank you for reading with me. Come back soon.